Hey guys, Studio Essentials here. For today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you all how I decided to change a door that was given to me that I did not like after a makeover was done for my bathroom. So this is the door that leads from the closet to the bathroom and this was the door that was given to me by the company i don't know why they did that so instead of me having to spend so much money to buy a brand new door i'm just gonna cover it up in a way that would still look presentable without spending too much money now all i did was to take a board and cover it with marble contact paper that's gonna go in the front and at the back of the door The next thing I'm going to do is add mirrors to the design. For my closet, I'm going to be using this handle and it's self-adhesive. And I will have one in the front and one at the back. Now this door, like I said earlier, leads from the closet to the bathroom so I wouldn't really need a lock because I mean there's no need for that so this is a cheaper option for me to decorate my door and still have it closed and it will look much more better than it did before I'm going to be adding gold tape and this tape is not just for decorative purposes only but to cover up the lines on the door. I just thought I should share this with you guys so you know what I did to a door instead of buying a brand new one and this is what it looks like. And I have to say that it looks way better than it did before. Okay, what well we have here are horizontal blinds and I would like to have something different there. They have three large windows there. So I decided to just remove all of them. I mean, it's a makeover. We just have to change the whole look, right? A different kind of hardware was installed here because I'll be putting up vertical blinds. This is what I have in mind and it is so beautiful. But look at the price. Look at the price. I told myself there has to be a cheaper way to achieve this. So what I did was to get vertical blinds from Home Depot and get mirror reflective paper and cover them up. To cover up the window, I used two full long packs of mirror reflective paper. These rolls are a bit longer than the typical ones that I use. And the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. In order to attach this successfully, you're going to need help. Oh my gosh, it looks just like the one on Amazon. I'll be cutting all of the pieces that I need to cover up all of the blinds and I'm going to need help. It is a lot of work and it has to be smooth. So luckily for me, I got help 
and boy are they the best. They even came up with new ways to install the mirror reflective paper. When we were done, hanging them up was easy. Oh, this looks so beautiful. Now the total cost for me doing this was $64 compared to $265 if I were to buy it from Amazon. I'm gonna be covering this sliding glass doors. That's for a friend. I'm gonna start off by drawing out the pattern on the paper. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'm going to be making this design on two poster boards that have been attached together with tape because I need the design to be large enough for the doors. Now I'm gonna be drawing out patterns, starting from the top to attach them to the circles. The next thing I'm gonna do is cut out the shape of what I've just made. and I'm gonna be having these designs on a frosted sheet. This is from Walmart, and I'm gonna be using three for this project. This is what it looks like after I traced out the shapes. When cutting out the pattern, I made sure to do it slightly away from the line in and out so that at the end of the day, I will have a line that's gonna be separating the patterns on the door. I pasted the first oval shape just to give me an idea on what I'm gonna be working on before attaching the frosted sheets. They adhere to the glass well when you remove the film at the back and using a spray bottle to put water on the glass before attaching the frosted sheets. It is very important to make the cuts for the pattern slightly away from the line on the inside to give just enough space between the patterns. And after putting the one in the middle, I am done with the first door. Now I'm gonna be moving on to the second door. And this is what both of them look like together. I used marble contact paper on the other two doors that are by the sides. There is a big difference from what it used to look like before and what it looks like now. And you not only have privacy, you also have a beautiful door. 
I hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thank you.